Now, as you've already seen in the training videos, that you have many fields that you can insert as columns here. Well, what if you want to create your own custom column or custom field for whatever information you want to type in it? Let's say we want to do one for deliverables, and deliverables are things that need to be delivered, and we want to insert that as a field or as a column here, so if there are deliverables for a certain task, we can actually type in what needs to be delivered specifically in conjunction with that task. So to create that custom deliverables field, come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Customize, and then over and down and click on Fields. Up at the top, what is it for? A task or a resource, and with whatever you select, what kind of type? I'm going to go back to Task and click on the drop-down arrow. You can see the types here. It's going to be a text field, so I can type in whatever text I'd like. And then you have the default fields here, beginning with Text 1. And what I do is I start with the first default one, text one, go ahead and click rename and call it my deliverables field or text field. And notice how it has the name and also text one, because still, technically, this is the text one field. It, I just gave it a name, so it's recognizable to me, deliverables. And then down below, you have a host of all this other information where you can actually do custom attributes, a lookup field, a formula, calculations for assignments, task groups, values to display, which We'll go over in the next training video how to do a customized flag field where you can go ahead and choose what kind of flags you want to pop up next to your tasks here. In any case, keeping it simple, we have a deliverable text field. All I have to do is go ahead and click OK and we're done. Now all I need to do is just go ahead and insert that field as a column here within any one of my tables. To do that, just go ahead and right click at the top of any column header, go down to Insert, and remember how you type in the first letter of the name like for deliverables, I'd type in D, and it would take me to the D's, and I'd scroll down. There's some deliverables here, finish. But the one I'm looking for is my own deliverables, text 1. Now I can select it there, or what I can do instead is click on the drop-down arrow and type in the letter T to go to my text, and there's text 1 deliverables. Either one would work. Go ahead and click OK. It pulls it up. And then all you have to do is go ahead and pick a task here and type in any text because it's a text field. In fact, let's go down here to modify outline and say deliver at outline to John and hit enter. There's my deliverables there. Hover over it and you get a little pop-up that tells you what that box is about or you can of course double click on it really fast to open it up. Come to the custom fields tab and there's the custom field, there's the value delivery that deliver or delivery that outline to John. It should be deliver. And then I can just go ahead and get rid of the Y here, and then click OK. Now if you want to get rid of that custom field, just come back up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Customize, go back to your fields, select it, click Delete, and when you get rid of it, it just reverts back to its original default name, Text1, click OK. Well, see now it's back to Text1, it's got the text here, let me go ahead and right click and hide it. And then is the text still there for that text field? Go ahead and right click and insert the column, the letter T, to go down to the text, text 1, click OK. Then of course that value is still going to be there. How do you get rid of it? You can come up here and delete it and click off in a blank area. Be sure to save your work and you're done. And then of course go ahead and right click on it to hide the column, save it, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.